Hey, hi, Satrupa. I hope you're doing well. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir, I am doing well. What's about you? Yeah, all good going. Thank you for asking. So, Satrupa, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, sir. Uh, my name is Satrupa Behera. I right. am from Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Mm -hmm. uh, I have completed my graduation from Biju Patnaik University and Technology, Odisha. I right. hold a strong experience as a data analyst intern from Matrix Private Limited. Okay. Mm, uh, talking about my skills, mm -hmm. I have hands-on experience with Excel, uh, where I was first in first in working uh, B lookup, H lookup, matches, views. Uh, and SQL, Power BI. Uh, in Power BI, I used to work with DAX functions. All right. And that's all about me. All right. All right. That's great. So uh, you were working as a data analyst intern at uh, Matrix Private Limited, as I can see your resume. Fine. So uh, Satrupa, tell me, what were your basic roles and responsibilities over there? Uh, my roles and responsibilities were creating dashboard, data filtration, data cleaning using different type of functions, mm -hmm. uh, mining work on Excel, um, and delivering the content as per the requirements of the client before the deadline. Okay, that's great. So uh, in visualization, which tool were you uh, acquainted with? Uh, it, it, it was with the Power BI or it was with Tableau? Uh, I, will, I, am, I was acquainted with uh, Power BI. Power BI, fine, fine. Okay. So, um, Shatrupa, tell me, what is your biggest achievement so far? Uh, my biggest achievement is building my self-confidence. Mm -hmm. As uh, I solve uh, uh, daily problems of like uh, SQL, and excels from different sites that okay. increases my confidence. All right. So building a self-confidence is your biggest achievement, correct? Yes. Yeah, fine. Yes, sir. Fine, fine. So uh, Satrupa, tell me, uh, as you were acquainted with Power BI, okay. So yes, what sir. were your daily, I mean, the, the challenges you faced while you were acquainted, uh, you were doing your projects? Uh, during my projects uh, the challenges were like uh, missing data uh -huh. and uh, uh, i used to find some um, duplicate values okay. uh, and uh, some kind of data cleaning all right so these were the common challenges you faced correct yes, yes sir. so let's get into the technical part of power bi are you ready for that yes sir yeah all right. yes sir Fine. So, Chatrupa, tell me, can we use username and user principal name in uh, static RLS? Is that possible? No, or? sir. May I no, know sir. what's the reason behind that? Um, basically, the username and the user principal name uh, mm -hmm. means the login credentials okay. that we can use only in dynamic RLS uh, for de creating different uh, dashboards and different mm -hmm. reports. Okay, okay, fine. Great. Are you sure on that? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, Satrupa, tell me once again, uh, does Power BI uh, maintain or stores historical data? Is that possible? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. If we have data, we can do predictive analysis using Power BI tool. Okay, fine. Fair enough. So, is it uh, possible to create drill up and drill down? Uh, if we have the tables that are interconnected, we can use the drill up and drill down. Okay. okay. So, tell me, let's say, uh, if there are constraints applied on table, does primary key and foreign key uh, affect the Power BI? Affects on power. Yes, it affects the power bi. As okay. the as using power uh, as using primary key and the foreign key, uh, we will uh, we will use uh, do a model in power bi. So in uh, in the modeling, we will create a one to many relationship. In this case, uh, the primary key and foreign key will break. Uh, after that, the one to many relationship will be broke. So it will impact. It will do impact on the model. Okay, 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 fine. So if you are taking data, let's say if you are taking data, okay, from database, uh, 
okay uh, table has six k rows and table got truncated fine and has only one k rows now fine does power bi uh, will uh, uh, have all the six k rows uh, from the table yes or yes, no sir. If yes sir yes sir why uh, because uh, power bi only uh, take the data according to the current status of the database if the database has six k uh, rows in the table then mm -hmm. it will have sure that much table okay so how do you uh, identify types of license looking at the workspace uh, when we work in power bi service uh, uh, where we we will work uh, we, we 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 will work on which workspace that will decide the type of license we have basically there are three type of license free license uh, pro license and ppu uh, pro primary user license okay okay all right so what is the size of workspace uh, for uh, premium quality of license, uh, the model size should not be exceeded 400 GB. Uh, for PPU license, the size of the model should not be greater than uh, 100 GB. And for pro level license, uh, the size of the model should not be exceeded 1 GB. Are you sure on that again? Yes, sir. All right, fine. So, uh, Shatrupa, tell me what is unit testing in Power BI? Uh, unit testing of the repo, uh, we need uh, testing in Power BI means we have to test the report in unit level. Uh, we will uh, test the report at the minimum lower level, means row by row. Uh, as if the data uh, which are we are getting that will match uh, from the data which we have uh, we have got from the data source or not. Okay, fine. So, can you uh, please elaborate more on that? Uh, the unit test uh, in Power BI is used to test the report from a unit level, means okay. the minimum level, means row by row. It will test the data from row by row level uh, that will uh, give us um, give us the right uh, that uh, we can conclude that the data we are getting from the report are right matching with the data we have got from the source or not. Okay. So talking about now report, fine. So what do you mean by report validation? Report validation means yes. uh, we uh, report validation uh, means we can use different data quality tools to detect and remove uh, the errors, duplicates and outliners from the tables. Uh, it will help. Uh, we can do the data validation uh, in by using the statistical and uh, analytical methods to explore, summarize, and visualize the data and to compare the data with uh, some standard data like the benchmark. Okay, benchmark. Fine. Okay. So, how will you cross verify the data which is coming from you know uh, the data source to report? How will you cross verify that? Uh, we can use SQL uh, like a join operation. Uh, okay. We can will you retrieve. On yes, sir. Yeah. Um, using joins, we can retrieve all the data from the table. Uh, joins are basically um, the uh, operated between two or more table having a common column between them. All right. All right. Fine. So. Did you did you done any automation? Yes, sir. I have done one automation in that project, Power BI project. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, so the final question is, uh, what do you, uh, what do you understand by dual mode? What does dual mode mean? Uh, basically, there are two modes. Uh, that is import mode, uh, import mode, and direct query mode. Uh, dual mode is uh, when a table acts as a dual mode at, at the same time, the same table will act as the direct query mode on the other table. So this is called as the dual mode. Okay, fine. So uh, tell me, uh, Satrupa, uh, now where do you see yourself in the next five years? 
uh, I see my uh, in five years I see myself as an integral part of the company, uh, okay. which helped me to contribute the growth and uh, uh, growth and the success of the organization. I would like to developing my skills and knowledge to okay. get more responsibility in this company. Fine, fine. Okay, all right. So um, okay. Thank you for uh, your time, Chatrupa. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, fine. We'll let you know what's your result. Okay. Meanwhile. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, Thank sir. you for joining. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir.